hey guys welcome to my channel well today i'm going to show you how i made this nice yummy crunchy delicious polo nigerian or Ghanaian call it chin chin so yes guys welcome to my channel where i made this polo for my anniversary party because i wanted to have some snacks for my guests to eat you know i didn't want it like too much heavy stuff but you know light snacks and fun snack as well so yes i made this polo you know you can also have some at home put it in a jar for me when i'm going to bed i put something in a bowl you know take it to my bedside and i just snack on it or when i'm going to work i grab one bag you know when i get visitor you know you just take and go you know just something nice and sexy so guys if you want to see how i made this polo slash chin chin stay tuned and i'll give you guys all the recipe that you want to know or my my type of recipe that you want to know you know that will help you to kind of achieve this polo so once again thanks for watching and god bless okay guys make sure you have a a, a large bowl because you will need it trust me so you see i have my bowl i have four cup of all-purpose flour one cup one and a half cup of sugar it's up to you how sweet you want it i have two large eggs one cup of milk i have one teaspoon of baking powder one teaspoon of salt one tablespoon of nutmeg i love nutmeg so it has to be <laughs> one tablespoon or more one tablespoon of cornstarch two stick of unsalted butter half cup of water just you know you're gonna need it as you go and some flour on the side for rolling you know so i have my rolling pin you need it my pizza cutter is a blessing and my rolling mat i can roll on my you know countertop but i can also roll my my rolling mat i love rolling on the rolling mat because it's easy for me to like you know pick them up and dump into the bowl kind of so i have my oil set up already on the stove um it's ready to go everything is already set so i don't have to waste any time have clean hand make sure your hands is clean so i put the the baking powder in it i put in the shoot um sut not sugar but sud the cornstarch and my furry <laughs> nutmeg mix it well you can also add the sugar there but you know i just want to be extra make, make sure you mix it well adding the sugar you can put um it's up to you how soft you want it to be because the butter make it soft and the cornstarch make it crunchy so it's up to you how much butter you put in there for me i don't want it hard to break my teeth so i put two stick of butter in there so you can put one stick of butter just so you don't want it to be um too hard or i think some people put no butter at all i think but you have you need butter like you have to put butter so once you you know mix all the dry ingredients you put the butter in there you make sure you mix it really really well and the butter should be like room temperature butter which means not hard you know for you to mix it up and then when you're done with the butter you put an egg in there same thing mix Yo, missing this stuff is like it's like you in a gym like you feel it in your in your arm your hand and stuff like that and you know i'm like barely five feet tall so the the countertop is like you know hitting my weight so like midway so it's it's kind of hard for me to like 
really go in there and mix so here i go talking plenty again i just add a milk and there go your hard work if you don't go to the gym oh well good luck now you go to the gym yes make sure you mix it really really good that everything is all together nothing is separate Now here I go adding water, that's one tablespoon, two tablespoons of water, you know, enough to catch everything. So like guys, I cheated. I had to set it on the, on the floor <laughs> and actually do the, the, the work because it's hard, trust me, ain't no joke. So that's what I did. So now here it is, it's all together now. One B round fufu. Sometimes if you really mix it well, you may not need uh ready like flour to like um add and you know so it don't stick and stuff. But I still wanted to show you guys because I, I, I really didn't need the flour. But I still have to show you guys. So now I'm just doing extra work to make sure everything is mixed well. Yep. And then after that, cut it into pieces. Not pieces, but cut it into like little round ball, whatever, and mix it well. Because that's how you're going to use to... Uh, to roll it out i'm sorry if i'm cooking in my video and i'm giving too much instruction or i'm prolonging too much it just it, it's like i'm talking to like regular people like real people i just don't want to do step one step two step three and then sometimes you confuse so you know talk as you go me i like talking so hey uh, so there you go now i did it into four round balls and I'm going to use it and roll it out. Make sure you have like a wide dish pan or something wide. It can be a plate or something. After you roll it and cut it and you just pull it in there. You don't need to do all that extra. It's up to you. But if yours is kind of so sticky, maybe you might do it because you don't want it to, to stick all over the place. So sometimes you just have to lift it up and flip it over and yeah miss extra garment so guys let me tell you this when i was making this polo it was on thanksgiving day right i had picked up my agency to work and they canceled me i didn't know because i was using my phone to um to record okay now this is the part you have to use your pizza cutter you know cut it the size that you prefer you can make it big you can make ship out of it like you have those cute little ship thing you know you can make some ships and stuff like that you cut it to the size that you prefer you know so yes and that's how you do it pizza cutter oh yes Now this is the reason why I use my mat to cut on it because then to pick them up, there you go. Easy peasy, just like that. <laughs> so yes guys, I had to go to work. So I was rushing to make this polo and my job, the agency had called, text me like around like 12, 26, I think. But I was, you know, recording and busy and all that stuff so um when i was done you know i had to do like when i did the first polo i felt like it wasn't enough so i had to make more so i was rushing everything so um i went to work you know rush everything make the polo everything rush to work i worked for one hour and then the nurse looked at me like oh i don't think you're supposed to be here I think they cancel you today. I'm like, oh, really? And then I was about to text the agency. Then I see that it texts me around like 
when it comes to my phone or whatever, I'm really lazy when it comes to me texting or like looking through my phone for text messages and stuff like that because like I hate noise. So it's like I mute everything. <laughs> so yes. Yeah. So um yes. After you cut it, you know, that's how it look. Pretty. You know, it will look more prettier when it's, you know, cooked. So yes, and then when I went to Lily, I was like, oh, I tend to cancel you today. I'm like, oh really? Let me text my agency and let them know when I when I buy the test and I seen the text from them like, oh, you've been cancer because you know they don't need you da da da. I'm like, damn. Now I was rushing to make my polo because I take my own time and do what I want to do. So yeah, that's this boring story of my tense my my of that Thursday Thanksgiving. We don't celebrate, so nothing what nothing really was popping. So guys, as you see, when I was boarding, I had turned the stove on to, uh, to you know, let the oil get hot. So yeah, so, you know, I tried one and I see how nice it's fried. And I took it out and now um, there you go. You got to put it in the pot, you know, take your time and just put it in there. And I know it's kind of scary. <clears throat> when you put it in there, it's... It, it tend to start like you know like rising like foaming like a lot of um foam start to come up and stuff like that don't be scared and don't stare as you put just put it in there and give it a few not meaning but a few seconds and then you gent gently like you know start to turn to to stare you know as you go and then you can take it out to like when it's like golden brown or maybe a little bit darker dark brown it's up to you how how light or how dark you want it to be so yeah that's how you do it you just fry it up when you um, mix the um, the dough you don't have to let it rise or anything just continue with all the steps don't let it sit there for five minutes don't let it sit there for whatever minute just do what you have to do and get it done you know it's, it don't take that long yeah so yes guys that's how it look when you take out the oil, it looks really nice and it tastes so yummy. Like, my guests, they always like, you know, they was wondering how, it, like, who made it pull up? I'm like, me, of course. Like, hey, you come to my party asking who made this. Everything you see at this party is made by me, you know. So, yes, guys, that's how you make a pull up. If you don't know how to make a pull up, it's very easy. And, like I said, the cornstarch make it very crunchy you don't need a lot just a little bit you know maybe like a, a teaspoon or one tablespoon you know it depends how many you're making so i use four cup of flour and i use one tablespoon so do your math you know so yes guys this is how i made my crunchy delicious yummy polo now i have this recipe been long coming like since 2017 I've been recording this one polo and I can never finish. So finally for my anniversary, it came back to life. So here you go. So if you like this video, don't forget as usual to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it down below and I will get back to you. And I will make sure and do answer and respond back to your question. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching. God bless.